Hi, Jim Colt here from Hypertherm. Um, I want to talk a, a little bit about arc voltage height control, sometimes known as AVHC. Uh, and it's, a, it's a, one of the single most important um, cut quality and consumable life uh, aspects of a CNC plasma cutting table like this. And uh, there, are, there are a number of plasma cutting tables out, out on the market that don't have any automatic height control. In other words, the operator has to set a, a preset height. Uh, and trust me, that's not accurate enough. You're going to have poor cut quality and poor consumable life if you don't have a, a good height control on the system. Um, there's a lot of different uh, things that the height control does, as a matter of fact. This is the, the Z-axis uh, torch carriage. And there's actually a drive motor in here, um, and, and, what, and, and we'll, we'll see that demonstrated in just a minute. Um, this torch will actually drive, motorize up and down uh, in here, but what actually happens during the cutting process is that's fully automated. The operator can actually walk away from the machine, and you can have material with, uh, that has some inherent uh, warpage or is not flat. In fact, there's not a piece of metal flat enough for perfect plasma cutting on the planet. Um, so what the height control is supposed to do is maintain exactly the torch to work distance um, you know, while you're cutting. But before it has to do that, you first have to get, you have to find the surface of the plate and you have to, uh, have to set, preset a cut height. And once the cut actually starts, once the machine starts moving in the X and Y axis, uh, it uses arc voltage feedback to control the torch to work distance. So at first, we're, what we're going to see at first here is just to just show how it senses the surface of the plate. There's a little piece of metal right here, and the operator will, will hit a test trial button, and you're going to see the torch move down towards the plate. The torch actually contacted the surface of the plate, and then it retracted to what we call the pierce height. Uh, the pierce height is different. If you're cutting thicker material, you need a higher pierce height. And the reason for that is with thicker material, when you're blowing a pierce hole down through the material, all that material comes right back out the top of the plate and hits the front of the torch. If we're, if we're too close to the plate, that can damage the consumable parts in the torch, and you're not going to get another good cut until you replace those consumables. Um, when you have a really good pierce height sensor, it gets to the right pierce height uh, and, and does things right, uh, you're going to get hundreds and thousands of starts out of a single set of consumables. So uh, much, much to your advantage to have this working right and having a, a good arc voltage height control. So what the height control does is it, uh, it actually automatically finds the surface of the plate before every cut cycle, retracts to the pierce height, uh, then indexes once the pierce is complete, and it can take, depending on the thickness of the material, uh, anywhere from a tenth of a second to two seconds to get all the way through the material. Um, so then it indexes down to the cut height, which is a physical height. Usually with a hypertherm torch, that's about uh, a sixteenth of an inch uh, or sixty thousandths of an inch off the, off the table. And then once the, you start cutting the part that you actually have in the cut file, um, the, the torch will actually start reading arc voltage. It reads that, uses arc voltage as a feedback to control that sixty thousandths exactly, no matter how much warpage is in the plate. There are some uh, online videos that I've seen uh, where they're using these torches to cut corrugated metal roofing. It's not designed to do that, but it can do that. That's how accurate the height control is without ever touching the material. So height control is very critical. And what does height control actually do? If the torch is at the wrong height, uh, that affects the angularity on the edge of the cut. Uh, because it affects the angularity, when you start to cut sp small features, such as small holes, diameter holes, uh, and sharp corners and things like that, and, and your arc is producing a bevel on the edge of the plate, it makes the holes really ugly. So height control gives you good holes, good features, good edge angularity, and probably most important, it kind of takes that expertise out of the operator's hands. The operator probably shouldn't walk away from the machine, but he doesn't have to be constantly fidgeting with it, constantly adjusting the button. And the other problem with uh, not having good height control is torch collisions. There are some cases where you can, uh, a part on the table will, will tip up or the Without torch height control, you could have warpage in the plate, and you can actually snap a torch off. Uh, this particular table and this height control has a really unique breakaway device that allows the torch to, to come right out of its holder. Uh, the, the system will, will immediately stop, uh, and you can actually replace the torch in there, remove the tipped up part on the table, and continue cutting right from that same position without, uh, without a broken torch and without damage. So. Nice little, uh, nice setup on this uh, 
five by 10 cutting table. Uh, what, I guess one other thing I should mention uh, with this holder too, there are some options for these tables that allow you to put an oxy fuel torch on here. You hang it in a holder on the side of the carriage up here. And when you're done plasma cutting and you need to cut that thicker material that oxy fuel torches do such a good job on, you can pull this torch right out and put the oxy fuel torch in and begin cutting the thicker material. So um, a lot of good features um, on this machine. Thank you much.